Hey there, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can assign a role to a group in ServiceNow. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you wanna do is click on all, and in the filter navigator, you wanna search for groups, and then you wanna scroll down to the very bottom of your menu here, and you wanna click on the groups option that is nested under the user administration menu group. Now I'll go ahead and click on this. And then this is going to bring up a full list of the groups that exist in your ServiceNow instance. Now I will go ahead and select a group here for demonstration purposes. Specifically, I'll click into this change management group. And you can see here on the group record that there is a roles tab. Now this is the tab that we are going to work with in order to add a new role to this group. Now you can see by default, this particular group change management only features one role and that is the change underscore manager role. Now to add a role to this group, you wanna click on the edit button and you want to search for the specific role that you would like to add in the collection field here. Now I will search for ITIL and I will select the ITIL role, and to add it to this group, you want to select it and then click on this arrow here, and you can see here that it has been added to this role, and if you wanted to remove it or remove another role from this group, then you would just select it here in the roles list and then click on the arrow, and you can see here that it removes it. Now I'll go ahead and add it again, and to commit this change, you wanna click Save, and you can see here the note at the top of your screen that reads the job to add or remove roles from the users or group has been queued. Now again, depending on how many roles and permissions are being inherited by this group from the addition of the role, this could be done instantaneously or it might take a couple of minutes. Now, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, I also have another video that demonstrates how to assign a role to a user in ServiceNow. I've included a link to that video in the description below, or you can just go ahead and click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen and check it out once you finish watching this video. Now I'll go ahead and reload this record by clicking on the additional actions button and then clicking on reload form. And you can see here that the ITIL role was now added to this group. Now what I've done is I've navigated to a user record and you can see here this user Andrew Jackson currently does not belong to any groups. Now I've clicked on the group tab and I'll go ahead and click edit. And I am going to add the change management group, which is the one that we just added the ITIL role to, to this user. So I've selected it here in the collection menu and I will click save. And again, you can see the note at the top of the screen that the job to add or remove the role has been queued. I will go ahead and reload this form. And you can see here that this user has been added to that group. And you can see here that this user has now inherited 38 roles. And if I click on the role tab, you can see here the ITIL role that we had added to that change management group and they've also inherited a bunch of other roles that come along with that ITIL role. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can assign a role to a group in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.